What's up, YouTube? My main man. Slap me some five and listen up. It is now the 20th episode of Static Game Review. We've put out 20 episodes in not a very long period of time. So, for the 20th episode, I wanted to do something special. For me. For myself. For Braden Cole of Static Game Review. I wanted to review one of my top, in my top three favorite games of all time, Paper Mario, A Thousand Year Door. If you've never played this game, you owe it to yourself to play it. It is such a good game. Fan of Mario or not, you could get in and be enthralled with this game. Just look at that cover art. Just look. It's so mysterious. It's Paper Mario. You might think it sounds stupid if you've never played it, but this wasn't a best seller for nothing, okay? This is seriously a good game. So what we're going to do is we're going to review it, and uh, I'm going to be happy. Oh, by the way, it's only four Nintendo GameCube, so all you Xbox fanboys, you're shit out of luck. Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo GameCube. A direct sequel to the original Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. And while it is a direct sequel, you don't have to play the first Paper Mario game to understand what's going on here. Paper Mario 2 The Thousand Year Door added a lot more depth, precision, and eye candy than the original Paper Mario did. Everything was brighter, crisper, the foundation was better, Mario was better looking, and there was a lot more side missions and other things to do. Remember in the original Paper Mario, when you beat the game, and then you tried to turn the game back on after you had beaten it, and it started you from your last save point? Not in this one. You can continue off your storyline. After you beat the game, you can do all the things that you may have missed prior to beating the game, and people actually glorified you for saving their world. Talk about your replay value? Yeah, you're gonna be getting it with this one. This took up most of my 14, 15, and 16 years of life, simply because I kept playing it over and over. I would beat it and then play it again. I've probably beaten it 12 times, because the game is so good and the characters are so believable. It's just one of those games that you'll play the rest of your life. Like in the original Paper Mario game, you have characters that follow along with you on your adventure, and they're all vital to getting you through each part of the game. And also you have a new curse factor. It's a special ability more than a curse, but you'll have to play the game to understand what I'm talking about. But basically, what these do is it allows you to turn flat to get into cracks, turn into a paper airplane, and roll up into a tube in order to get under small things. It's really cute, and it takes the paper aspect of Paper Mario to a whole new level. Without spoiling too much, the main storyline of this game is Peach came across a treasure map. She wants Mario to help her find the treasure that's on the map. It turns out Peach gets kidnapped, Mario gets the map, he has to find what's known as the Crystal Stars before the new enemies, the x Knots, do. The x Knots are trying to get the Crystal Stars to revive the demon in the Thousand Year Door, and you're trying to get them to prevent them from awaking the demon. Bowser is always following you, and he's always a step behind you. His cutscenes are mainly to be humorous, and he's not a real threat in the game. Overall, the game is a 10 out of 10, much like the original Paper Mario in my opinion. I love the Paper Mario series, and I love this game. If you come across a copy of this game, it is your destiny to pick it up, because otherwise you're going to be missing out on a lifetime experience. Ah shit, son! Telling you what, Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door. And now that it's been reviewed, girlfriend, there's nothing else really to do. I mean, we've went over it. It's just, it's just such a good game, you know? It's just such, it's a fucking good game, all right? I mean, damn. Son, I'm serious though, okay? It's like, 
fucking good! It's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. Okay. So, you know, I'm Brayden Cole. This is episode 20 of Static Game Review. Please subscribe. And we'll see you the next episode. Peace out.